All right, gang. Stop for the Pete Lovers. Fellas. Pete Lover, Sherry Drams right here, baby. <laughs> you know how we do. Pete Lover, what do we got here tonight? Well, they could read. All right, fellas. <clears throat> we just got this a couple of weeks ago. Um, uh, my question is, and my concern is, whether it's first fail Oloroso Sherry Cass or not. Um, I... I questioned uh, Master of Malt. Is it Master of Malt? Yeah, Master, Master of Malt. Master of Malt. And they said that based on the actual sample that they've gotten, that it appears to be first field or also sherry cast. So, you know what? We here, the South Florida Pete Lovers, we're going to make that determination tonight whether this is first field or also sherry or not. Mm. I, we were just about to order this. From the whiskey exchange, and um, <clears throat> driving down the Keys, um, I stopped at uh, not Key Largo. It was Florida City prior to Key Largo. Stopped at a liquor store, and voila, there she was. So, oh my God! Show them the color, will you? Look at the color of that thing. <laughs> I mean, come on. It's like mahogany. If you're a sherry lover, this is exactly what you're looking for. All right. Cask four 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 one bottle. What is it? Two thirteen out of two thirteen out of I don't know. I think out of a sherry butt, you usually get about six hundred and fifty bottles out of a sherry cask. Um, but it could have been a hog head, so I'm not quite sure. There's really not much details um, other than what we are about to share with you guys. So crack it open, Sonny D. Crack the shit open like I cracked your head when you was a kid. <laughs> well, my P lover goes around, your boy here, Sherry Drams. Just uh wanna tell you that it is my pleasure for you guys to stop by every single time. And uh Better shut the fuck up. Stop talking shit. I'm gonna fucking cut your throat. Motherfucker. <laughs> wow, bro. I love the corks of the balcony bottles, bro. They sure are nice. Well, first filled, single, single barrel. Single barrel. Well, we don't know if it's gonna be a. I don't, we don't know. We're not sure if it's a first I don't know, man. Not. I'm a little skeptic because. Hold on. Oh. Big sound. Nice. Mm, bro, Sherry, monster. What do you say? First fail? Oh, my God, bro. I haven't smelled shit like this since the Parliament. Really? Yes. Look, 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 look. Oh. We're going to enjoy this dram right mm. here, fellas. Mm, mm, mm. I can tell you that you know, we've been pounding a Solera all day. <laughs> 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 and... Uh, this will be a nice change of pace right here, but um, <laughs> there's uh, I don't I don't, I don't think I've seen many uh, reviews of this particular guy online, uh, or at least in YouTube channels. But what guy? Um, huh? What guy? No, no, of oh, this. Um, oh, this particular Bobby. Yeah, this particular Bobby in here. So um, you know, it's, just uh, be receptive to what we feel here. <laughs> yeah, be receptive here. Because um, you know we, we've been uh, we've been waiting for this moment for about a couple of weeks. My brother picked this bottle up down by the keys, like you just mentioned a minute ago. So he's been saving it to come because he was planning to come down here to Orlando. So here we are, you know, two weeks late. But guess what? Yeah, as usual, delivering the goods. Yeah, man, it's the South Florida Pete lovers. You know, we're doing big things all the time. But oh my goodness. Bro, this smells like a Mac 18 <laughs> on the nose. Well, I'm gonna tell you From something. the bottle, when I smelled it right there, it smelled kind of like the Parliament. But Well, I don't know if you're picking this up, but the reason why I'm not yet so thrilled about this is because I'm smelling, I'm picking up some wax here. Just wax. like, just like uh, Akintoshin? Classic? It kind of Am does I smell wrong like about the, this shit? It kind of smells a little bit like the three wood. That I if, had. Uh, I mean, I can am I mistaken about it? No, but I also pick up some of the Mac 18 shit. I mean, 
I'm not a hound by my own means, but got a pretty sharp nose. It's pretty heavy in alcohol though. Forty, what is it? Forty six, forty eight point, forty seven point, forty seven point eight, forty seven point eight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this bad boy right here. I love the presentation on the Balinese. It's just a great dram. The sure. Yeah. Let's see here. <sighs> Yeah, it's got some beautiful legs. Uh, they do really good things over there. I'm really uh, impressed always with every product they pump out. Not a fan of the Caribbean cask, but and 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 um, you know what? And that's that's one of the ones I like the most, the Caribbean cask. You yeah. don't like it? Yeah, it's weird because it's got that spiciness to it that I really because of the rum. Yeah, but it's it's all right. I mean, I mean that was a couple of times that I actually had it. Uh, two years from now, I may be having a different uh, different day in the palate. Who knows? But I just know that they do really good uh, products. And uh, if they pump something out to the masses, it's because they feel comfortable with it. Yeah, we trust Dave Stewart. Oh, yeah. Let's give it a shot. Mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You know, everybody has a different palate. Everyone picks up different shit. And for some reason, I'm picking up smoke here. Not Pete, little, though. You've got a little bit. Yeah, but I am picking up smoke. I don't know if it has yeah. something to do with the Solera that we've been pounding all afternoon. Mm -mm. Perhaps. I don't think so. No? Mm -mm. There's a lot of sherry here. Yeah, there's definitely a lot. The sherry is a big influencer uh, in this bottle. Um, I, yeah, there's a little bit of smoke in the background. Mm -hmm. There um, is. They, there's. Um, then again, remember something. If you have this product, vanilla and toffee is huge in this big boy. Yes, it is. Remember, even if you have this product, unless you have the same cast number, you're not going to be tasting the same shit. So you may have a Balbini 15 year old single cast sherry cask, and unless it comes from the same cask, we're not going to be we're not going to be having the same experience. Yeah, yeah, and, it's, it's, uh, yeah. And even if it's the same bottle from the same cask, doesn't mean that we're going to be experiencing the same thing. My palate is different than yours. Yeah. Well, you know what? At the end of the day, here's what I, I, I want you to understand. That Bro, this is fucking good. This is phenomenal. Yeah, it's it's really good, man. I really... It's, well, here here's, here's a couple of pointers. Number one, it goes in really smooth. Um, it's not really long lasting, but at the same time, the alcohol lingers a little bit. It does. Um, where now all of a sudden, you know, it's kind of matching the palate to the nose. Mm -hmm. uh, the nose picks up sherry. You do taste it, not immediately, but somewhat in between uh, the first, the initial contact too, before it even completely goes away. Kind of like in the middle there while it's cooking. And I'm going to answer my own question. Well, this is first fill sherry cast or not. Based on what I've learned, my knowledge, <clears throat> 15 years on a first fill Oloroso sherry cask is dark. If you look at the bottle, it is dark. Now, you look at the glass, and it's not as dark. Now, taste-wise, on the palate, there's a lot of sherry. There is. There is a lot of sherry. I and am. if it's not, a first fill sherry oloroso cask. I'm telling you right now, this X sherry oloroso <laughs> really did the job. Um, I'm gonna say right now that out of all the Balvenies I've tasted, we had the Portwood, uh, <clears throat> 21, 21 year old, 21 Portwood. year old, and we went to uh, Colorado, we bought one. Um, and the Madeira, Madeira cask, we've had a few of those 17 year olds. Yeah, Madeira, the, the Caribbean cask, Double Wood 17, Double Wood 12 double year old. Wood 12 year old. Out of the single whole, barrel, single 15 barrel year old. 15. Um, um, so, out of all of those that we've had, I think this one and the 12 Double Wood are probably my favorites right now. And this is based on what I'm tasting right now. I agree, I agree, I'm with you on that. <laughs> so I can tell you that this is really difficult to find around here. So you probably have to order this product online. But at the same time, the Double Wood 12, I think it's easily achievable to get it. Um, 
readily accessible anywhere around where we just buy anywhere you go and it's great but uh, this is definitely more refined uh, than the 12 double wood it is um, it's a lot more interesting though it, yeah it's got a lot more going on the alcohol level is a lot higher it's a lot spicier it's yeah, this really is, good overall. There's this, a lot of sherry involvement here. Yeah, I don't even want to put water in this shit. No, what the fuck? This for? is great. I mean, it's kind of like coating the entire your entire mouth, and mm -hmm. I mean, it's fucking phenomenal. They, they did a great job with this. They and sure did. I sure hope they don't change the, the chemistry in this motherfucker because um, it will be sad to see them go. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you know, with with, uh, with the distribution the way it is right now, that you don't see it. Just about anywhere. I just don't see how this will go away right away. Not a lot of people is getting their hands on it to where the <clears> demand <throat> is going to be so high. Uh, but this is awesome. Yeah, this it is. This is great. And I just I just found out not too long ago, uh, the two, to be precise, just about three days ago, I was searching for, because I found an old picture of a 17-year-old sherry cask. Um, it wasn't single barrel, though, uh, but it was not a double wood either. Uh, and I found them. They sold it for ninety nine bucks. When I went to proceed with the checkout, they told me they were out of stock. I mean, the bottle looked a lot darker than this. I mean, you figure an additional two years on a sherry cask, whether it's uh, ex sherry cask or or first fill. I mean, it's it's really gonna make a difference when it comes to the uh, the. the color. But what, what do you think? That, why do you? What does it look so, in your opinion? What do you think? It looks so much darker in the bottle. The one it does on the actual glass. Maybe because the bottle was full. Maybe it'll look a lot lighter once yeah. we have it, you know, halfway down. Yeah, possibly. I, I just... Um, but now, now that we're talking, we're like 12 minutes into this. It doesn't feel like... It, this is my opinion. It doesn't feel like it was first fill. Because even though McAllen 12 Sherry Oak and 18 Sherry Oak... I just found out that they're a combination of first fill and uh, second fill casks, but the 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 finish is a lot longer. Uh, on this one, you mean? On the Mac 18. On the Mac. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. And the 12. Well, not the, well, the 12, not as long lasting. I think this one's kind of still lingering around, but um, it's fading away. And I just had my last drum about a minute ago. Yeah, this well, bro. A minute is, is is still considerably. Yeah, but when we're drinking, when we're pounding Mac eighteen, I mean, it stays for a long time. Yeah, Mac eighteen is king. Mac eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've established that. Yeah, we're pretty clear on that one. <laughs> <laughs> but I, uh, you know what? Uh, I I don't have anything else on this. I, I can tell you right now that what I get out of this right now is a lot of sherry, a lot of uh, vanilla elements. Mm -hmm. Um. I get uh, a lot of spice, lots of cinnamon. It's, it's creamy. It is creamy. It is really creamy. It's got nice legs, really nice color. Um, overall, it's a very good, um, I would just even say that it's great. I mm -hmm. mean, this is really freaking great. We um, never rate anything number wise, but if I was to rate this product 1 through 10, I would probably give it a 9. Yeah, it, well, the presentation will wrap it up. Oh, yeah. This is uh, absolutely, I like it. The port wood, I think it's, I don't know who the fuck will drink that. I mean, if I could get my hands on this, mm -hmm. I will I will never buy the port wood ever again. I can tell you that right now. Um, 110 bucks, by the way. Yeah, this is, uh, well, the port wood would pay like two bills. Yeah. Two, like 200 bucks. Yeah. So we could get approximately about two of these. Instead of getting a poor wood, oh, which I will probably never get anyway. No, I'll never spend money on that again. And so, that wasn't even our first one. That was our second second one. What? Port wood. Really? Well, back then, we weren't even conducting videos. When I had already gotten the uh, Madeira 17-year-old and the Port wood 21. What was it that we got? We got, we got the Port wood 21, and then we got a Glen Levitt. Uh, Glen, no, a Glen Fettick 21. Glen Fettick 21. Yeah. Okay. A couple of Glen Fettick 21s. We never did video on those. We were never, back then we were never, you know, doing any of this. Yeah, shit. we wasn't doing any of it. No. But, uh, we got pictures. Well, well anyway, so this, here's another thing. We're, we're now uh, going to a different platform. Uh, we said, you know, the, we're now in the Twitter. So we just broke into Twitter last week. So we're going to start posting some, uh, either picture videos, things of that nature with that. So you could, uh, our handle is, uh, <laughs> um, 
Sh uh, at Sherry Drams. So uh, S H E R R Y D R A M S. So follow us on Twitter on sh at Sherry Drams, uh, or you could continue to uh, follow us here on the you know uh, Pete Lover right here on the uh, YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash Pete Lover. Anything else you want to add to this? Slash your thoughts? fucking throat, <laughs> <laughs> dumb motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. And for all of you guys, listen, we're, we're just, uh, again, we're just two, two regular guys doing videos. If you want to stop by the page and leave, and, and leave us some blessings, hey, it, it, it's what it's about. Uh, it's a public uh, uh, platform. If you want to talk shit to somebody, uh, go talk shit to your moms. Yeah. Um, don't, don't fuck with us. You know, don't, 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 don't really, don't, you don't want to get me pissed off. Don't I, fucking say shit. I, and you know who you are. Yeah. Because you just left us a, a message. When was it? Today? Yeah, on the Hibiki 12 yeah. video. On uh, Hibiki 12? Get the fuck off our channel. Get yeah. the fuck off, okay? Don't come back, you dumb piece of shit. So, um, it's simple. You don't like it, you fucking stick yeah. to some don't of the shit. Don't fucking look at our videos, motherfucker. Simple as that. Listen, uh, you know, if you don't like it, put a hinge on it and just fucking swing it up your ass. Yeah. Or give us your address. We'll go and pay your fucking visit, you piece of shit. All right, for the South Florida Knock it off. Over. I'm already pissed off. South Florida P-Lover, Sherry Drams, we out.